China's earthquake administration says it detected a tremor with a magnitude of 3.4 at 5.29 p.m. Japan time on Saturday. Its epicenter was located at 41.36 degrees north and 129.0 east. The quake's depth was zero. Chinese officials suspect it was caused by an explosion. The epicenter is located near North Korea's nuclear test site. South Korea's meteorological agency has detected a tremor, but it says it might have been from a natural cause. Japan's meteorological agency says it has not detected any tremors. It's believed the size of the tremor is smaller than the tremor caused by a nuclear test on August 3rd. This was measured at a magnitude 6.3. All other previous nuclear test-related tremors exceeded magnitude 4. We meet at a time of both immense promise and great peril. It is entirely up to us whether we lift the world to new heights or let it fall into a valley of disrepair. Our success depends on a coalition of strong and independent nations that embrace their sovereignty to promote security, prosperity, and peace for themselves and for the world. As President of the United States, I will always put America first. Just like you, as the leaders of your countries, will always and should always put your countries first. Now we are calling for a great reawakening of nations, for the revival of their spirits, their pride, their people, and their patriotism. Today, if we do not invest ourselves, our hearts, and our minds in our nations, if we will not build strong families, safe communities, and healthy societies for ourselves, no one can do it for us. We must solve our problems to build our prosperity, to secure our future, or we will build vulnerable to decay, domination, and defeat. History is asking us whether we are up to the task. Our answer will be a renewal of will, a rediscovery of resolve, and a rebirth of devotion. We need to defeat the enemies of humanity and unlock the potential of life itself. China's earthquake administration says it detected a tremor with a magnitude of 3.4 at 5.29 p.m. Japan time on Saturday in North Korea. The epicenter was located near North Korea's nuclear test site. However, South Korea's meteorological agency says it detected two different types of seismic waves characteristic of a naturally caused earthquake. The agency says the tremor was detected in an area around Kyuju in northeastern North Korea. Officials say they clearly detected the P wave and the S wave that are caused by a natural earthquake. All previous nuclear test related tremors by the north exceeded magnitude 4. South Korea's military officials say the likelihood of a man-made tremor is low. South Korean public broadcaster KBS says the country's authorities have not observed any movement related to a possible nuclear test in North Korea since Friday. Almost two weeks have passed since the UN Security Council imposed its strongest resolution yet on North Korea for its latest nuclear and missile provocations. And among the many countries starting to implement these sanctions, Pyongyang's closest ally China has announced its own measures, and they are strong and wide-ranging. Lee ji reports. China has started moving to implement the latest UN Security Council resolution on North Korea. Beijing's Ministry of Commerce announced Saturday that it'll halt all exports of liquid natural gas and gas condensate to North Korea. 
It stated on its website that it has ceased all procedures in exporting such products, and all such products will be put on a list of prohibited export items in the future. A ban on textile imports from Pyongyang also comes into effect right away, and products that had been signed for before the resolution passed must complete the import process by December 10th. Beijing will also limit exports of refined petroleum products to Pyongyang from October 1st, in line with the export cap imposed by the new sanctions. Resolution 2375, passed unanimously on September 11, authorizes all UN member states to limit their refined oil exports at 500,000 barrels from October 1st to the end of the year and at 2 million barrels annually from next year, a move expected to sever 55 percent of the regime's supply. China will suspend such exports once the total volume approaches the ceiling. The ministry added the exported refined oil products must be used only for civil purposes and not for North Korea's nuclear development programs or other activities banned by the UN Security Council. Crude oil, which makes up the biggest share of energy exports to the North, is not included in the trade ban. While Resolution 2375 freezes the amount of crude oil Pyongyang can import at 4 million barrels a year, an estimated 5.5 million barrels is expected to have been exported to the north in 2016. Lee Ji-won, Arirang News. By the way, the wall is happening, folks, okay? Believe me. The wall is happening. So you need to have a great wall, but it has to be, has to be see-through. We are now looking at samples. We have four samples that have already been built, General, right? They've been built. And we're looking at different samples already of see-through walls. We are going to have as much wall as we need. You don't need it all the way. You know, you have 2,000 miles, you don't need it because you have a lot of natural barriers, etc. Somebody said, well, what are you going to do? Are you going to build that wall in the middle of the river? Are you going to, that nobody can go in? Are you going to build that wall on the mountain? He said, you don't need the wall on the mountain. You have a mountain, which is a wall. But we're going to build the wall it's coming along great. With Obamacare, I've been listening for seven years as many of these people, now Richard kept voting against it, but many of these people kept saying, repeal and replace, repeal and replace. Then they finally have, now they didn't care, nobody cared because they had a president that wasn't going to sign it. And they didn't have the Senate, so it didn't matter. So it didn't take much courage, so they were getting all these great votes, you know, like, I think they voted what, 61 times? Like 61 times to repeal and replace. They finally get a president who will sign the legislation and they don't have the guts to vote for it, okay? They don't have the guts to vote for it.